Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi if you are new here and we are gonna talk about the time I almost got in a fight today and you're obviously gonna find out why it was almost and not an actual fight. I've never actually been in a fight. This is the closest I've been and we're just gonna jump right into it today. All right, we're gonna set the scene. This was like summer ball, it's like AU or travel ball and I was going from my sophomore to my junior year. So I was 16. We had two different levels on the team that I played for for travel ball. Our top team was the black team and our bottom team was the white team. And this weekend was earlier in the summer and a few people couldn't make it on the white team to the tournament. And so they asked a couple of us to play down and like help the team just to get some extra playing time and I am very competitive and I loved any opportunities so I said yes of course and my personal life was in shambles I guess you could say I mentioned in a, a few of my videos previous that me and my boyfriend have had you know not a perfect relationship and that we had broken up th at this time period and so I had that going on in my head that was fresh in my memories. I was struggling with that and I was just playing for like fun, get my mind off it and everything. And I'm sure some of those emotions like helped me out, feeling a little more feisty, feeling a little more ballsy than I usually am. And so this weekend was down in Denver. It was more of like a local tournament, a little bit of a smaller one. One of my high school coaches also coached for my club team. And so me and him already had like a great relationship and I was excited to get to play for him. And so that was really fun for me. And we were having a good time. It was a pretty competitive tournament. Everything was going good. You know, we won a couple, lost a couple. We were in like the final game between another team to figure out which one of us is going into like the playoffs the next day for like the tournament seating. You know, the first few games are always like, they matter, but like they, they don't matter as much as if you're in the running to actually play for like a placing and so this was a placing like opportunity and it was a little later at night it was like Saturday I think because I think like the more playoffs were on like Sunday and so it's like the last game of the night tensions are high for some of us for other reasons and it's a close game the whole time. This is a team we play very frequently at local tournaments. And so it's like, you know, you already have a little bit of, I wouldn't say a rivalry, but an understanding that you, you go back and forth with each other. And so that competitiveness was there and I'm very competitive, even though this isn't like the top team and I'm just playing for fun. I still like to win a lot. And so I was playing to win, but this game was like extremely physical and extremely heated. I used to have, I've, I chilled out as I got older. I used to have like a little bit of an attitude my sophomore year. Nothing crazy, but you could, like I especially would like notice, like I could just feel it and like, it's obviously probably on my face. I, didn't, I wasn't much of a smiley player even when I was happy. I was pretty like straight faced in any situation that is like adverse for me. I'm usually just pretty straight faced. I don't show a lot of emotion on my face like that. You know, we're going at it. I was a point guard back then, not in, not in college, but in high school I was a point guard and so I was playing that role and a lot of times, especially in college, the point guard will, <laughs> they guard the other point guard the entire way up the floor, you zigzag them. And so that was something I did as well in high school. And I was doing that to the other team and they were doing it to me and it, like it was, it was a good time and like I think I scored a layup this is like fourth quarter or like second half these are halves so it's the second half there's probably like nine minutes left I like score a layup and I act like I'm about to guard this girl who's much more athletic than me she's quicker than me I'm better skill wise but she she is faster than me and I will 100% admit when anyone's faster than me because that's most people but I'm acting I'm under the basket guarding her for the whole like 90 some more feet and she turns and in basketball you are allowed to pivot and if your elbow hits someone when you're pivoting as long as it's a whole body movement not just a mm, 
it's inadvertent except for if I'm in my defensive stance, you know, your defensive stance is lower than the person who's standing with the ball. Well, this girl, I'll tell you her name later because I found it out later, turns and oh, just oh, right, right, just right there. And there's no call while I'm laying on the ground, <laughs> just bleeding. No call. They're still going, going on down the floor while I'm just laying there bleeding and so you know there's a timeout and it's I gotta I gotta go fix my fix my face and so it takes me a couple of minutes probably like five four or five minutes left in the game and I come back it's stopped bleeding I used to get bloody noses a lot so I could like figure out how to stop them pretty quickly and my coach is like you're good right like you're gonna go back in I was like yeah yeah put me in I'm great and so you know that pissed me off because that's disrespectful and the fact that I didn't get the call for it, it pissed me off more and so I was angry you know a little upset in the background the back of my head so I had a lot of emotions flowing you know you're 16 yeah you know you don't know how to handle your emotions and so I am out there we're, we're going back and forth it's like point for point like we score we're up a point they score they're up a point and in some of these leagues, the parents are the ones that run like the scorecock and keep track of like the fouls and points. And one of my teammates and friends, her dad was running the clock. He does have a speech impediment and it kind of impairs his hearing a little bit. So like he has a little bit of a lisp. He didn't stop the clock fast enough when the rest blew the whistle, which isn't really much of an issue. It was like three seconds. You can add that on like there, it's a machine like you can put it back on. And so like all the parents and the coaches are like yelling at him and like piss me off even more because like he's trying his best. It's literally advantageous for them for the clock to be running out because they're up on us at this point. So I don't know what they're so pissed off about. But so like they're going at it with him and that sparks more anger inside of me because he can't, uh, I was just mad. I was like, stop talking to him like that. Like chill chill out I was just like chill out like they can add the time on and this girl the same girl that elbowed me kind of like gets closer to me where we're probably like this far apart like we're probably like this far apart she like gets a little closer and like said something to me some probably some cuss words because tensions are high and so I then we're like similar heights, but when standing, I'm probably like about two inches taller than her. I get chest to chest with this girl at the free throw line. And I'm like, no, F you. Just for, cause she told me to F off. And so I was like, no F you. And, but we're like face to face now. And she's just, and so we just stare at each other after that. Nothing happens that intentions are just rising even more. <laughs> and so, you know, we play it out. I think me and her maybe cussed at each other once, once more. Like, you know, little bitch or some, some, some stupid thing that 16 year olds do. College girls still do it. That's what you did back then. I wasn't really in to the whole shit talking because it didn't really like affect me and I wasn't good at it and I didn't see a point in it. I like it now in college with my my teammates in Georgia like made it really fun and so like I enjoy it now for like fun but like not to like piss someone off you know I mean her probably did that like once or twice more you know games winding down it's tight they score get one last chance to make a play but we did not score so they ended up winning right and so this is in like a little corner gym and everyone has to funnel out through the same single door I think we, we were closer to the door and so our bench was leaving first and they were behind us and their coach was like making some comments behind me and I don't know what like possessed me to say something like at, to the girl first and I don't know what possessed me to say something to him because I'm extremely non-confrontational. I get very anxious and I do not like confrontation but he's back there just chirping away about me about us losing and I was like that's so mature of you as a coach to talk shit to a 16 year old the girl is still like she right behind me too which I didn't realize 
And so we're out right in the hallway now. It's me and her. Like, here's her. Her team's, like, back on this side of the hallway. And then I'm here, and my team's behind me. And she, like, said something to me. And I was like, what is your deal? And she gets closer to me. And so, like, now we're still, we're, like, about a few inches away again. And she's like, I'll kick your ass. Like, I'll beat you up. I'm going to fight you. And, like, yelling all these things at me. And I was clearly not in my right mind so much anger so much sadness I was like cool I stepped even closer I was like like let's go I, I don't care anymore like you want to go I don't know how to fight but I'm gonna figure it out oh like let's go I said let's like bring it and my teammates are like Lexi like maybe not like it's okay like come on and she's still just yelling at me about how she's gonna like tear me up she's gonna she's gonna whoop me and I'm telling her to like let's go and then she steps up to me and is like hit me and I'm like N no I'm like you are the one telling me you're gonna kick my ass so you need to hit me because I'm only here to fight because you want to fight I'm why I ain't throwing the first punch because I don't know how to fight and I'm not trying to fight you you guys are just being immature and weird but she's like hit me yeah like oh I'm, 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 you know it's like it's like any typical scene you see on like social media or in the movies she's like tell me she's gonna you know kick my butt she gonna um, there's a lot of a lot of curse words i can't say right now can my parents watch this but she's just laying in about how she's gonna do it and she's like hit me hit me and i'm like no no, I'm not hitting you first. I will gladly hit you second, but I'm not hitting you first because I don't know how to fight and you want to fight me. You're telling me you're going to kick my butt. So you need to hit me first. And like her dad finally turned around and I was like, Angel, stop it. You need to stop it right now. And I'm like, Angel, you're not, you're not an angel. It's like, that doesn't fit you. You've not been nice once. You should, you should try being like your name. So I thought that was funny. And finally, like, her coach gets in and my coach is like, Lexi, come on, blah, blah. Like, come on. He's like a 6'9", dude. But he's like a gentle giant. When people say that, like, that is him to a T. He's like, come on, Lexi, come on. I'm like, she told me she was going to hit me. So I was ready. And then she told me to hit her and I'm not, I'm not here to hit her. And he's like, that's great. We're going to go. <laughs> and so after all that, my mom's like getting into it with someone too about something over in the other corner and so by the time all of this is over you know I'm upset about my breakup we lost I'm going to fight my adrenaline is like through the roof and you know we lost I don't know what they're so upset about perhaps that's why they were talking so much smack after we were walking out you know through the handshaking line and as we're walking out they have so much to say that they just beat our lower level team with three of us on there for fun. Like, all right, cool. We beat you every other time. You tell me you're gonna kick my butt and they want me to hit you first. That's not how fighting works. And so our head coach wasn't there obviously because this was like the bottom team. And so he didn't always come for that if both the top and bottom teams were playing. And I think he had another like prior engagement and so when we went to our next tournament I always would ride a shotgun in the car with him like we'd get vans and I always got shotgun because I was the navigator and because um I throw up if I'm in confined areas in cars with no window and not, a fit, not enough AC so I always got the front seat and him were up there talking one day like as we're driving somewhere and he's like so were you really gonna fight her I was like yeah, I was, like, prepared to, like, do that if I had to. And he was, like, it's not the ones who tell you they're going to fight you and the ones that tell you they're going to kick your ass that you need to worry about. He's, like, you need to worry about the silent ones. He's, like, because they're not going to tell you. They're just going to hate you. I'm, like, that's fair. That's a fair assessment. And so from, like, then on, I perceived people and, like, altercations differently. Also because, as I mentioned, I don't do confrontation. And so the likelihood of me being in a physical altercation is very low. Especially now that I'm 24. That is, like, one of my funniest memories.
memories for me with that because like when I was young, like when fifth, sixth, seventh, I kind of was getting out of it in eighth grade, but I still had it a little bit. I had such attitude and anger when I played and it was so irritating when I finally stopped doing that. It was amazing. I had some, I had so much of a better time. And it's, it's, per, you're perceived so much better when you're not that little like shithead kid with an attitude that's like angry all the time on the basketball court and like throwing shit around, you know? It's better. <laughs> it was a lot more fun. And so I think a lot of that situation would have gone differently had it not been like a team we had gone back and forth with several times. If I wasn't emotional, uh, my breakup, clearly we got back together because I'm just so, oh, I'm so amazing. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I do think that had a lot to do with it. I have never gotten in anyone's face. That's the only time I've ever like I it. I like stand up for myself, but I've never like so aggressively <laughs> stood up for myself and gotten someone else's face. And so I always like love that story because there's so many like learning things for me in there and so many like takeaways. But it's also just like funny because I don't fight and I don't have altercations or con confrontations. And I had like four that game. And also, as I got older, I finally stopped having nosebleeds, but when she hit me, it hurt. I was like bruised, it hurt so bad. That's what like, I was already like irritated and upset, had a lot of emotions flowing. But I think like that moment, and then when I didn't get the call, I was pissed. And from then on, it was like, it was like the little devil on my shoulder was like, be angry. It doesn't matter. You're already upset. Just like, tell her to F off. Like, just do it. She deserves it. You know, it's like on my shoulder, loving the behavior. And I usually don't act like that. And I have never had a moment like that again. Thank God. Because I don't want to find out if I could fight or not. I probably could if I had to, but I don't want to figure that out. And I'm glad I didn't have to figure it out that day. And I'm really thankful for my teammates standing there being like, no, like, let's not, let's not do that. Because none of us knew how to fight. Not one of us had ever been in a physical altercation. And so it wouldn't be good for anyone. But yeah, I hope you guys like this one. I'm sure this is a little shocking to some people because I'm so non-confrontational that I almost got in a fight in high school when I was extra pushovery and spineless, but yeah. This is a good one. I had a good time with that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, I did not upload on Friday. I have midterms that I'm studying for that are due because I had a quiz yesterday that we had to take and it was like one of those that it's like pretty obvious if you didn't read and I didn't do the best because um, I don't read. And so now I'm reading all of the chapters for this midterm, so I'm prepared. That is why <laughs> I did not upload Friday, but we are gonna be uploading more consistently now. I'll see you guys Friday for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.